Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to discuss another problem. Problem is last stone weight. Very easy problem. We are given an integer uh, array of integers where stone of i is the weight of i th stone. So this integer uh, array is given to us and each uh, element uh, at each index is the weight of the stone. We are playing a game with the stones. On each turn, we choose the heaviest two stones. So whatever heavy, uh, like two heaviest stones, whatever heaviest stones are, uh, we will choose them. We'll miss, we'll smash them together. So suppose the two heaviest stones have weights x and y, uh, with x less than equal to y. So if x is equal to y, meaning like x is the weight of one stone, y is the weight of another stone. So if their weights are same, so both stones will be destroyed. Like obviously when we smash them, if weights are same, so both will get destroyed completely. And let's say if x not equal to y, so whichever is greater, like if so y is greater, so y minus x uh, amount will be left, right? So that is if x is greater, then x minus y will be left. Okay. So at the end of the game, there is at most one stone left. So it might happen that there is no stone left, or it might happen that there is only one stone left at the end of the game. So we need to return the smallest possible weight of the left stone. So see. What could be possibility? They are saying that at the end of the game, at most, at most one stone will be left. One stone. So either zero stone, like meaning no stone is left, or one stone is left. So if zero stone is left, that will be obviously the smallest weight left stone. Zero is obviously the smallest value, and one stone is left, then that will be the smallest value. So we need to obviously we'll be choosing. See, we have to choose the heaviest two stones. Okay. Uh, for example, let's see this test case. So here, very easy problem, right? Just we need to every time pick up two heavy stones. So see, here these all are the weights of the stones, right? Zero weight, uh, zero stone weight. One, two, three, four, and five. So first of all, what we will choose? We will choose seven and eight. These are two. Uh, or the big values, heavy, um, like largest values in this array. So one stone has weight eight, and other stone has weight seven. So when we smash them together, uh, eight minus seven, one will be left. Right, y minus x, one will be left. So array will become two seven. Sorry, two four. Seven is gone now. Seven is gone, and eight is gone. Two four, this one, and this one, and the left, this one. Okay, now again, we will pick the two most heaviest stones. So these are two and four. So if we smash them together, two and four are smashed together. So how much will be left? Four minus two, two. So this is gone. This is gone. One, 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 one. These three ones and this two. Right now, this is the area. Now again, we will pick the two most heaviest stones. So uh, those will be two and one. So when we smash them, two minus one, one will be left. So this is gone, this is gone, and this is gone. So one, one, and this one. Okay. Now again, we'll have to pick the largest stones, two largest stones. So obviously all are same. So we can pick one, one. So x also is one, and y is also one. So if they are both are same, so both stones are destroyed. Hence, left will be nothing. Right, so this is also gone. This one and this one is gone. Now see, only one stone is left. So this is the smallest weight which is left at the end. Smallest possible weight of the left stone. So either uh, no stone is left or at most one stone is left. So at most one stone is left. We cannot smash it with the, any other because there is no other stone. Okay, so output is one. So I think it's pretty much clear, right? What approach we should use? Uh, what we are doing here is, see, what we are doing is we are every time picking up the two largest values. So here, uh, what it will be? Two seven four one eight one. Two seven four. It is four one eight one. So one approach is that we can do simply sorting. We can sort it in decreasing order. Decreasing order, right? Every time we sort it, so eight, seven, four, two, one, one will be sorted, and these will be the two largest values. We will pick them, 
if they are equal then nothing will be added in the array but if any like if they are not equal if x is greater than y we will do x minus y and add it to array and if x is less than y so we will do y minus x and we will add it to the array similarly we again do the same steps we sort the array right and again and again we will be doing the same thing right so this is one approach but obviously we can see right this is not optimized approach because every time for every iteration we have to sort the array right so if let's say we are doing m times so m times and every time we have to sort the array which is n log n so this is not optimized approach right we need to think something better so now see whenever sorting is there right what you can think of is using heap you can use heap right heap we can use and here we need to get the maximum values every time right so what we can use we can use max heap we can use max heap so let's see how we can use that let me erase this just try to think how you can use max heap uh, so see we'll be taking a max heap because every time we'll have to take two largest values right <coughs> So see what we will be doing. Very easy. We will have this max heap. Initially, we will add all the elements in the max heap: two, seven, four, one, eight, and one. Okay. So every time, what we will be doing? We will. Uh, this max heap will arrange the elements in the like whenever we pop from the max heap, it will give us the maximum element, right? This is what max heap does. it will give us the maximum element whenever we pop element from it so first of all let's say x we are popping we get 8 and then we are popping y we get the next greater element which is 7 so these are popped from the max heap so this is our max heap max heap okay now x is here see obviously every time see this since x we are popping x first so obviously it will be having the maximum value and y will having the less lesser value obviously x will be greater than y because we are popping from max heap and this value will be bigger and then we are popping y so obviously that value will be smaller right either they will be equal or they x will be greater than equal to y uh, greater than y so if x is greater than y we will add x minus y in the max heap so he here x minus y 8 minus 7 will be One, so one we will push in the max heap. So now max heap is something like this. This is not there, and something like this is the max heap. Okay. Now again we will do iteration. X we will pop from the max heap. X will be the bigger value for four, which is the maximum, and then this will be popped right. And second value we will pop y, which is two. So four minus two will be four minus two will be two, hence two will be added in the uh, max heap. So two will be added in the max heap. Okay, now again we will be iterating. We will be iterating the max heap until max heap size is not zero or empty, right? Uh, is like one. or empty so if uh, max heap size is 1 we will stop there otherwise if it's zero also then we will stop so see now again we will be popping the maximum value which is 2 and this will get popped and the next maximum is 1 only so 1 will be popped out 2 is greater than 1 2 minus 1 will be 1 so these will be popped out and 1 will be added in the max heap okay again so right now since max heap size is not 1 or less than 1 so we will be keep doing this we will pop from the max heap 1 and next one will be popped out now they are equal one is equal to uh, one is equal to one so we will not do nothing we will just pop them we will not do nothing we will not do anything because here both stones are destroyed right nothing needs to be added so just these get removed from the max heap okay now see now max heap size is e is equal to what zero uh, is equal to one right there is only one element in the max heap hence we will stop here now we will stop and this will be our answer 
this will be our answer okay i hope you understood this approach now let's see the code for this uh, python code will be in the description as well as java code so see uh, just do one thing try to code yourself uh, pause the video and see and try uh, writing code by yourself so see this is maxi we are taking right this is maxi and then what we are doing here we are first of all adding all the elements in the maxi so first of all we added everything in the maxi and uh, until size is greater than 1 we'll be keep on popping from the maxi if x is greater than y push x minus y in the maxi at last if empty uh, maxi is empty then uh, 0 obviously will be returning because 0 is the minimum weight smallest weight which is there otherwise we will be returning a uh, top element which is right one <clears throat> okay so i hope you understood the problem uh, java and python code will be in the des uh, description if you found the video helpful please like it subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video thank you